So I thought I would show you how I create video ads in Canva and it's really very easy. It's more of a two step type of thing, but I promise it is very easy. The first thing that I do is you're going to need two things. Of course, you're going to need Canva and you're going to need a software that would record your uh, screen screen. And this is what I'm using. This is what I use always to record my screen. It's called Movavi. I've been using them for probably four years now. Um, and I love it. It is very, very easy. It works on both Mac and Windows. And I actually bought both products because you have to buy them separately. I actually have a Windows desktop and a Mac laptop, which is the one I'm using right now. And I bought the software for both. That is how much I love it. Um, you can edit the videos, you can capture screens. It is very, very easy to use. So let me show you um, back over here. So the first thing that I do is I record the screen like a like a scroll through of the templates. So let's let me show you. This would be like my Pinterest bin templates. Um, and what I do is literally I turn on the screen recorder, I set it up and then I start scrolling. That's it. You can either do it like very, very slowly. I'm going a little bit faster. And once I do that, I can't go too fast because then you will see like a bunch of blank pages or see like it'll it'll kind of chop up a little bit. But it just depends on the software that I that you're using. Um, a lot of people use Zoom, Loom. Um, there's a bunch of them. This is just the one that I use because it's a one time payment and it's like it's under thirty dollars, something like that. So after I'm done doing that, after I'm done, you know, recording my screen, scrolling all of this, I will download it. Um, well, save it to my desktop and then I go back to Canva and this is the file that I used um, to create and just play around with images um, for my Facebook ad videos. So I would go to uploads and then upload the video that I just recorded. So let me show you upload. I go to videos right here and these are some of the videos that I have recorded and the one I recorded um, for my um, Pinterest pin templates is right here. It ended up being 21 seconds long and I hope you can see me um, hovering around this right here. Okay, so that's the one that I use, but I have a few more like these are for other purposes um, that I have used. So the one that I was working on last night actually was this one. And all this is, is a square template. And if I show you here, where it says resize, it'll show you that it's a 500 by 500. You can make it any size, 1000 by 1000. It really doesn't matter as long as it is a square template because that's, the way it'll show on Facebook ads. And I like Square because it takes a lot more space. So when people are scrolling, they're able to see a lot more of my image and a lot more of my ad. That's why I do it Square. But you can do it um, really widescreen, which would be about half the size. I just like it this way. Um, so the first thing I do, of course, is add the video. and. You see me moving it. This piece right here, that is the video. This right here, which is the video that I just showed you from my uploads. This one right here, see, and I click on it and I add it. Now I have the video <laughs> twice on there. Let me just delete that one. And this is just text, like images and just text. That's all it is. So I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to show you from scratch. And we're just going to try to recreate this one to show you how I made it. So the first thing that I did is I added an element. Um, I'm going to need a square. It's a little bit slow because I'm recording my screen and it does that. 
So I have a square right here and I want to make it this color. This very light taupey color, but it is too dark. No, not that. It is too dark. So I want to bring it down to about there. Let's say 47. Now I'm going to lock it over here because since I'm going to be putting things on top, um, the video, the text, all of that, I don't want this this uh, square to move around. So I'm just going to lock it in place. Now, let me add the video and it is right here. See, you have like videos and images right here. So this is the video that I had recorded earlier and I was able to, let me stop it, sorry, I'm be crazy. Okay, and I was able to crop it this way because when I, first uh, started recording my screen, I sized it so it would only record this area right here. But if you know how to do that in any other piece of software, you can do the same thing and you can also do it in Canva. I will show that in another video um, because if not, this would be just too long, but this is what my video ended up looking like and I placed it here in the corner. See how now it's snapped to the top and to the side and I'm going to start pulling till it's a little bit bigger and now it covers most of the canvas and it's still a video. See, I'm still clicking play. There you go. Okay. And now what I usually do since I have already created this i use this right here in a lot of different images across you know facebook my website so the way i do that is i create an element i need a circle i'm going to add a circle i'm going to make it orange i'm going to resize it i think that's Pretty good, okay. Then I'm going to folders. I'm going to need right here, shadows. And these shadows come with the Pinterest pin kit. They come with it. And I'm just resizing to kind of match that size. I'm placing it in a way that it'll fit. Now I need to send it back, so position backward okay that looks pretty good now i'm going to need some text i always pick i always pick heading i don't know why but i always do so i need the number 27 actually let's do it 17 because that's the price of the pinterest pins and then i'm going to change the font to the one i always use which is this one i'm going to actually duplicate because it's like a double layer and this is the other one this is the outline so the outline i want it black but then this one i'm going to change the color to white then i'm going to place this one on top and then move a little bit i can't really see it because it's so light but i'm going to put it oh yeah okay and then i'm going to pull to make it a little bit bigger let me see, do I need to move? No, that actually looks pretty good. Now I'm going to need, let me see what it looks like at the top. I'm going to need this dollar sign. Okay, so all I'm going to do, actually, let me just lock in place. I'm locking in place the circle and the shadow. So I can select the number. I'm going to copy, paste. And this one is going to be the dollar sign. This one right here is going to be the dollar sign. I'm going to place it on top. Move it off center a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And then put it here. Okay, that's looking good. And there's the an element that I use a lot and that is this one. It's on Canva, but it'll take me forever to find it. So I'm just gonna copy paste from there there you go paste 
And by the way, to copy paste, I'm just using my keyboard. Command C for copy, Command V for paste, or Control C if you are on a Windows computer. And now I want to do this Canva letters. And for that, again, I'm just going to copy paste that 17. And I'm going to spell Canva. That is huge. I'm going to have to resize it. Canva. There you go. And this one is going to be again that orangey color. I'm going to place this one on top. I'm going to move it off center a little bit just using my keyboard. There you go. Actually, let me lock that video because I don't want to move it out of place. And then I'm going to select both. I'm going to pull in to make it a little bit smaller. There we go, it's looking better. Now let me get another piece of text. And on here, I'm going to spell pin, and I'm going to change the font to my brand font, which is right here, I have saved it already. Do I want it caps lock? Actually, no, I'm gonna have to spell that again. So pin, pull this to make it, why does it look like that? Okay, that's better, I'm gonna make it like that. I'm going to pull it to make it a little bit bigger. I think that's gonna be too big, uh, about that size. And then I'm going to copy, paste, and I'm going to spell templates on here. Again, I'm going to pull a little bit and that's about it. I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to push them down a little bit to just give it some more space here at the top. And I think it's looking pretty good so far. Um, it is very simple. I like it that way. Um, <laughs> It is very simple to do. It takes like five minutes once you have all of the elements. And that's it. From here on, I would just download. See, I would choose um, the video. And this is page 10. So I would scroll all the way here. Select page 10. Done. And then just click download. And it downloads only that um um, page within that file and let me show you what that looks like okay it's done downloading so let me go ahead and close that and I'm going to open this and there it is it looks a little bit fuzzy but I think it's just my my screen um, once I put it once I add it to my Facebook ad manager it looks fine it just looks fine um, I don't know why it's looking fuzzy here, but that's it. It's about what 21 seconds long because it, it'll be as long as your video is my other one that I use this one. Let me show you all the way up this one. For example, this is like about probably a minute long because the actual video that I put on top is about a minute long and you can see it here. Um, where is it? This one. Do I use? No, it's this one. It's one minute and eight seconds long. This is the main video that I use, which again is just scrolling through. And then I'm able to layer it in. Um, I hope this was helpful. I did it in a very, very simple way. I will make a separate video on how to make one that is more layered and looks more like a mock up. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'm happy to answer any um, questions.